designer tennis rackets, fashionable plastic visors, and stiletto tennis shoes. Today we're talking about my favorite examples of tennis couture. To kick things off at number four, we have highlighter hued tennis shoes. So this was a collaboration between Nike and Supreme, and instead of just having basic white tennis shoes, the street company and the sports company decided to make something a bit more exciting. Tennis players and non-tennis players can add a bit of pizzazz to their style with these shoes that are brightly colored. We've got a nice highlighter green one if you're looking to stand out, a very deep eggplant color, and of course, black and white depending if that's your style. Coming in at number three, we have designer tennis rackets. If you're someone who's looking to be extra chic while on the court, then these Chanel tennis rackets are for you. Not only are they branded with the iconic logo of Chanel, but they've also got some pretty flowers on them. So if you're definitely looking to portray your femininity and style on the court, these are for you. I am concerned, however, about how much they would cost. Coming in at number two, we have fashionable plastic visors. Elle magazine recently published an editorial with a variety of visors that are typically seen worn on the tennis court being worn for fashion purposes. Unlike the tennis visors, these ones are much larger and they come in a variety of colors. So Rihanna was spotted wearing one recently and they're really, really picking up. And coming in at number one, we have a item that is definitely ridiculous and totally cannot be worn on the court. So it is specifically for fashion purposes only. The tennis shoe stilettos by Converse are a high cut running shoe with a massive stiletto on the bottom. I'm going to guess that these shoes will not be worn on the court, but off the court. Those are my top examples for tennis couture. If you guys know of any other I didn't mention, feel free to leave them in the comments below or tweet me at Jamie Neely.